Airports have standard procedures used by pilots to enter and leave the traffic pattern for the same reason that limited access highways have standardized entrance and exit ramps. These standard traffic pattern procedures ensure an orderly flow of traffic and increase safety for every aircraft by controlling a pilot's urge to merge. Think about it this way. If totally unique procedures were used at every airport, pilots arriving from a distant location would have no idea what to do. They might rocket into the pattern and scatter all the other aircraft like frightened quail. Airport traffic patterns are not a good place for originality. Pilots have many abilities, but are not mind readers about what other pilots may choose to do, even if they did call the psychic hotline in advance. I called the psychic hotline once, and the only thing they told me was that they saw a big phone bill in my future. By using standard procedures, every pilot knows what to expect from other aircraft in the pattern. To get lined up with the runway when approaching an airport, you normally fly a standard traffic pattern. Think of the traffic pattern as a rectangle over the ground with one of the long legs aligned with the active runway. Now, the active runway is the one currently being used by traffic, and for good reason, I hope it's the one you elect to use, too. As you remember from our discussion on wind and runways, the active runway is usually the one that is most closely lined up into the wind. The leg that overlies the runway extends beyond the ends of the runway in both directions. Now, parallel to the runway, about one half to one mile to the side, is the downwind leg. This is flown in the opposite direction from the landing and takeoff direction of the runway. Now, when you are on the downwind leg and the landing point on the runway is about 45 degrees behind you, in other words, halfway between the wing and the tail, in that direction right there. That's when you normally begin a turn to the base leg, which is this leg right here. Base leg is the place to make sure that the runway is clear and that there is no conflicting traffic, such as an aircraft that might be making a straight-in approach. Instead of, of course, flying the recommended traffic pattern as we normally should. The portion of the leg that aligns the aircraft with the runway center line and overlies the approach end of the runway is called final. When I was a student pilot, I reported on final, but I was still on base leg. The controller helped me out by saying, no, 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 no. Final is when you don't have to make any more turns to line up with the runway. <laughs> oh, well. When the airplane finishes the turn from base to final, it should be lined up with the extended center line of the runway and be at least one quarter mile from the end of the runway. That's to give you time to get established properly for the landing itself. Now, if you don't do this, things can happen pretty quickly and hands will be flying right and left preparing for the landing and the last thing you want is to have your cockpit look like a karate tournament. Okay, let's assume you wanted to get a good look at the runway before making a landing. If you fly parallel to the runway in the landing direction, but offset to the side away from the pattern, you would be flying what is called the upwind leg, and you would have a good bird's eye view of that runway. If for some reason you stop a landing approach and do a go around or a balked landing, you can offset to the side of the runway and fly the upwind leg. An airplane taking off from the runway is departing and will be flying the departure leg. The short leg between the departure leg and the downwind leg is called the crosswind leg. Now, traffic patterns normally have left-hand turns. That's what we've been looking at because a side-by-side -side seated airplane is usually flown from the left seat and you have a better view out to the left. So a left-hand pattern is the standard way to fly a traffic pattern. But right-hand patterns may be used at airports or certain designated runways due to having populated areas on the other side of the runway or some kind of obstruction like this factory right here that makes left-hand traffic undesirable or unsafe. A right-hand pattern has the same shape as a left-hand pattern, but as you go around it, you are making right-hand turns instead of left-hand turns. 